Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a superhero film called Power Rangers. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs were still alive, intelligent life has visited Earth already as a fierce battle was taking place at the same time. It's quickly revealed that a soldier in crimson armor was the only survivor as all his teammates have already been killed by the enemy. This gives him no other choice but to take out his teammates' power crystals and commands the items to find those who are worthy so they can save the planet from their nemesis known as Repulsa. However, just before the enemy can make the kill, an asteroid hits the earth which causes a huge explosion that completely destroys the woman's armor while knocking her inside the ocean and temporarily saving the planet in the process. Many years later in the modern times, a troublemaking student called Jason is being brought to a detention center for constantly causing trouble with the law enforcement. When he goes inside the building for his weekly punishment, he quickly meets a young woman called Kimberly and tries to flirt immediately but only gets her cold shoulder for acting like a simp. Very soon, the man does decides to go inside the classroom, where a bunch of teenage rebels are waiting for their lecture, but Jason quickly notices that an autistic student called Billy is being harassed by a fellow classmate. This causes the main character to go intervene right away, while making the opponent throw a temper tantrum, but Jason manages to slap some common decency into the bully and taking away his dignity at the same time. When the class is finally over, Billy goes to thank the main character for what happened, but decides to ask the man for a second favor as he desperately needs a ride tonight for an important experiment. Surprisingly, the main character agrees to help once again as they head towards the nearby construction site inside Billy's car and eventually going inside a quarry that's clearly off limits to the outsiders. Very soon, the people begin bringing out their tools towards the nearby rocks as Billy explains that he discovered some strange radiations coming from the stones around this location. However, Jason is not interested in proceeding further as he doesn't want to get caught by the police once again, not realizing that two strangers have gathered inside this location as well. When Jason eventually arrives towards the car, he begins hearing music from the nearby forest and decides to find out what's going on. To his surprise, the man sees that Kimberly has come to this location as well, who quickly jumps off a cliff and down towards the water below, which causes the man to rush towards the woman right away, as he thinks that the girl has drowned by accident. However, his white knight routine has has failed miserably, as the woman is clearly too strong and independent for him to rescue, while thinking that Jason is nothing more than a creepy stalker. What they don't realize is that Billy has already begun his crazy experiment as he plants numerous dynamites inside the nearby rocks before hitting the detonator and causing a huge explosion in the process. This causes all the people to rush towards the man right away, which includes the male stranger who reveals his name as Zack, and the female stranger known as Trini, who warns the others to leave this location immediately. However, before the girl can finish talking, the giant cliff begins to collapse from the previous explosion, while the people barely escapes the falling rocks in time. When the humans eventually recover from the landslide, Billy is shocked to see a crystal formation in front of his eyes, while the people begin examining the strange objects that seems to be alien in nature. Very soon, the people manage to extract a bunch of artifacts from the mysterious wall that appears to be glowing with different colors, but they are quickly interrupted by a loud siren that forces them to run towards their car right away as they try to get away from the location before being captured by the security. Surprisingly, the people manage to evade the pursuing vehicles as they continue rushing forwards inside their car but quickly sees that a train is heading towards their direction as well. However, the people refuse to give up so easily and decides to race against the train while thinking that they're from fast and furious but only gets smashed into pieces in the process and thrown towards the cliffs below. At the same time, a fishing vessel in the ocean is preparing to head back towards the city, but quickly notice something inside their catch, which appears to be a woman's body that has been dead for a very long time. The people decide to keep the remains inside their ship, as they eventually brings it back towards the docks, where the fisherman notifies the police about what they found. However, when the officer is left alone to investigate further, the body begins returning back to life and quickly attacks the man from behind. At the same time, 
time, the main character manages to wake up from the car accident, but is shocked to find out that he's completely unharmed, while finding that the red crystal is still inside his pocket. It's quickly revealed that the other people have survived the crash as well, and immediately discovers that they have somehow obtained superpowers after what happened last night. This prompts them to meet up inside their school right away, as they plan to go back to the construction site to find out the truth about the mysterious crystals. Very soon, the people manage to arrive towards the mining site, but is surprised to see that Zack has been here the entire morning alongside Trini, as they claim to have gained superpowers as well. The people sees this and begins using their newfound abilities right away, as they climb onto the rocks like spiders and quickly manages to ascend the mountains. However, the humans eventually arrive in front of a giant cliff, but Trini decides to test her powers even further as she jumps over the field without a second thought and manages to miraculously land on the opposite side. This makes the others decide to take the leap of faith as well, as they jump over the massive cliff with their superpowers while crashing onto the ground with tremendous force. But the people quickly notice that Billy is too afraid to make the jump like the others. Luckily, the man eventually manages to conjure up his courage and finally decides to leap across the massive cliff while barely landing on the edges in the process. However, before Billy can regain his balance, he accidentally falls down towards the back and causing all his friends to shout out for his name. Surprisingly, the people quickly find out that the man is still alive as he apparently landed inside a large water pit underground. This causes the others to decide to jump down as well as they all land inside the mysterious water below the mountains. Very soon, the group notices that their body is glowing with different colors while Billy sees a hidden entrance at the bottom and decides to dive towards the location along with his friends. Surprisingly, the people eventually discovers a strange barrier that appears to defy physics itself and the humans manage to cross over towards the other side before dropping down inside a massive underground cave. When the people eventually recovers from the fall, they are shocked to see that the water appears to be levitating above the ceiling which prompts them to venture forwards to search for a way out. However, what the people didn't expect was to find a giant spaceship hidden inside the underground tunnels which appears to have been dormant for millions of years. The team decides to approach closer towards the massive vessel and soon notices that their crystals are beginning to glow which eventually opens the spaceship's door towards the inside. This allows the people to eventually enter into the ship as they are amazed by the technology that's clearly more advanced than their own. However, the humans soon realize that something is wrong as the spaceship begins to change its shape while blocking off the original exit and causing the people to run desperately for their lives as they try to hide from the approaching danger. Things become even worse when the humans begin to be taken away one by one as they are completely overpowered by a talking robot, but it turns out that the machine is actually not their enemy. It's quickly revealed that the robot is called Alpha 5 and he has been waiting for the humans this entire time as he tells the people to move onto their individual footpads so they can find out the truth about why they are here. This gives them no other choice but to begin going onto their platforms around the circle, which immediately activates a second entity known as Zordon, who appears onto the walls behind the people. It turns out that he was the Crimson Soldier from 65 million years ago, who died while fighting to protect Earth from his nemesis called Repulsa. Zordon tells the humans that the crystals they have are called Power Coins, which have chosen the people to become the next generation of Power Rangers. This means that they have to protect the planet's CO crystal from being stolen by Repulsa, which will give her the power to wipe out all life on Earth. However, the humans have trouble believing everything that Zordon has said, which forces the alien to show them directly by placing them inside a vision for the future. It's quickly revealed that Earth will be destroyed within 11 days when Repulsa finally obtains the Zeo crystal and turning the entire humanity into motionless statues as they crumble into nothing but dust. When the people eventually wake up from the horrific vision, Zordon tells the humans that they are the only hope for saving this planet and they must learn how to harness their true powers by morphing into their armors. However, when the people try to utilize the powers from the energy field known as the Morphin Grid, they are unable to transform into the Power Rangers, which means that they must start training without the usage of their armors. Very soon, the robot takes the people inside a training location that's known as the Pit, where numerous rock monsters are formed by the simulation so that the humans can improve their combat abilities by fighting the creatures. However, the monsters are much tougher than they appear as the group continues to get pummeled by the simulations, while the people barely manage to defend themselves in the beginning, but through numerous 
days of training and perseverance, they are eventually able to take down the opponents by using the techniques that were taught by the robot. Surprisingly, even with their improvements in fighting capabilities, the people are still unable to transform into their battle armors, but despite this troublesome setback, Billy manages to use the Morphin Grid to locate the CO Crystal, and eventually finds out that the item is hidden below the Krispy Kreme inside their town. This information is reported back to Alpha 5 right away, which makes the robot decide to reward the people for their progress by showing the humans even more weapons in their arsenal, as the group is amazed to see the gigantic robot standing in front of their eyes, which all resembles different species of dinosaurs from the time that they were created. However, Alpha 5 tells the people that they are not ready to pilot the machines, as they have to manage to summon their armors first, but Zack refuses to listen to his trainer and decides to begin piloting his giant robot right away. This quickly proves to be a huge mistake, as the man is unable to control the machine at all, which causes him to rush towards the city and destroying everything on his way, before eventually crashing back inside the caves and nearly killing all his teammates at the same time. Luckily, the people manage to dodge the impact just in time, but this greatly infuriates the other team members who almost got killed, which causes Jason to begin fighting with Zack in anger. Billy sees this and tries to stop the fight right away, but what the people didn't expect was for the man to morph inside his armor in the process, and finally transforming into a Power Ranger. However, the transformation quickly disappears in front of the people, while Billy doesn't seem to be able to bring back his powers like before. What they don't realize is that Zordon has been watching them this whole time, and is greatly disappointed at the people's uselessness, as he tells the humans to go home right away. Jason hears this and decides to confront his mentor all by himself, but is shocked to find out that Zordon only wanted the people to open the Morphin Grid so that he can be revived by the cosmic energy. This greatly angers the main character, as he realizes that Zordon never had any faith in their abilities from the very beginning, but the man assures the alien that they will save the planet from their nemesis, as he's willing to sacrifice his own life in the process. What they don't realize is that Repulsa has already made it inside their city, as she goes towards a jewelry store that's filled with gold, and begins absorbing all the metals onto her body, before eventually creating a giant weapon in the process. Very soon, a police officer rushes inside to try and stop the woman from robbing the store, but his bullets have no effect on damaging the enemy, as Repulsa manages to summon her monster and killing the man in the process, while eventually blowing up the entire building as well. The people are eventually notified by this terrible news, as they realize that they are running out of time before the earth is destroyed by Repulsa, and Jason decides that they should attack their enemy before she becomes even more powerful. Very soon, the team begins grabbing onto their weapons and eventually track down the whereabouts of the evil woman, as they manage to follow her trail all the way towards an abandoned dock. However, the people quickly realize that something is wrong when they find a man tied up on the chair as a hostage, while the enemy quickly jumps down from the ceiling and knocking the people onto the ground. Luckily, the humans manage to recover immediately as they try to attack the enemy altogether, but they are proven to be no match for Repulsa as they are knocked away like ragdolls and completely overpowered by the evil woman. This gives Repulsa the chance to tie up all the Power Rangers as she demands the people to tell her the Zeo Crystal's location right away. The people seize this and try to resist her intimidation in the beginning, but they couldn't watch their friends get killed by the evil woman, which forces them to reveal the location for the crystal to their enemy. However, the woman never intended to keep her promise from the very start, as she quickly drops Billy inside the water and leaving the humans to watch their friend drown. Luckily, the team manages to eventually break free and immediately begins pulling up their comrade, but only to find out that their efforts were completely useless as Billy has already passed away. This gives the people no other choice but to bring their friend's body towards the alien spaceship, while Jason begs Zordon to somehow save the man's life. However, the alien reveals that there's nothing he can do to revive Billy, which causes the people to fall into sadness as they would gladly exchange their own lives for their friends. What they don't realize is that their understanding for the importance of their teammates' lives has managed to eventually unlock the Morphin Grid, which means that Zordon can finally be resurrected just like he planned. Surprisingly, instead of using this opportunity to revive himself, the alien has decided to bring Billy back to life instead, as he realized that only the new generation of Power Rangers can defeat the current enemy. Very soon, the people begin going onto their individual platforms just like before, but this time they are able to feel a different power flowing through their bodies, as the Morphin Grid starts covering the humans with armor 
Transformers while transforming the people into the real Power Rangers. At the same time, Repulsa has arrived towards a gold mine and begins conjuring a powerful spell as all the gold particles begin forming together while creating a gigantic monster known as Goldar. The woman sees her horrendous creation that's towering over everything in the vicinity and commands the giant monster to retrieve the seal crystal in the nearby town. What she doesn't realize is that the Power Rangers have already regained their powers as they quickly jump towards the water while destroying all the rock monsters in the process by breaking the enemies into pieces. Very soon, the team launches out from the water while eventually landing onto the mountains before charging directly towards the remaining enemies and destroying the creatures without any mercy. However, no matter how many monsters the people manage to destroy, the enemy's numbers keep increasing inside the fierce battle. This forces Zack to take out his dinosaur robot to crush all the creatures at the same time and destroying all the monsters by shooting his machine guns. The team eventually manages to kill all the enemies on the mountains, but soon realize that something is wrong, as they notice that Repulsa's giant monster is heading directly towards the city. This gives them no other choice but to head inside their individual robots as well, before eventually launching out from the cave, as they rush towards the town to stop their enemy from obtaining the Zeo Crystal. Very soon, the Power Rangers manage to arrive into the city, but quickly sees that Goldar is destroying everything in sight, while causing chaos amongst the people. The team tries to stop the enemies right away, as Kimberly activates her weapons and fires directly towards the evil woman to get her attention. However, this only causes Repulsa to summon countless monsters from the ground, as she plans on fighting the Power Rangers to the death. The people sees this and charges directly towards the enemies for battle, while throwing away the rock monsters like flying insects. But no matter how many creatures they kill, the enemies continue responding inside the location like armies of ants. What's even worse, Repulsa eventually manages to locate the Krispy Kreme as she commands Goldar to dig out the crystal immediately. The people sees this and quickly charges towards the giant monster as they try to stop the enemy by attacking the creature from the back, but Goldar manages to throw the rangers away using tremendous force as it appears to be completely unharmed by the humans' attacks while the people are being pummeled by the massive enemy. Luckily, Kimberly manages to conjure up a plan as she quickly takes Billy towards the air before dropping her friend directly onto Repulsa. This causes a massive shockwave that throws Goldar onto the ground and causing the woman to crash down at the same time, while eventually knocking out the enemy in the process. However, before the people can celebrate their victory, they quickly notice that Goldar is beginning to send its power onto its creator and eventually manages to heal the woman from the previous damages. This allows the giant monster to strike the ground using tremendous force, and the people are shocked to see that the Zeo crystal is lying right below the enemy. The humans realize that they are running out of options and decides to quickly rush in front of the giant hole as they plan to defend the crystal from the massive creature and begins shooting all their weapons towards the giant enemy. However, their attacks are not effective at all, while the massive opponent begins striking the people from above and crushing the rangers towards the ground. But the group refuses to give up so easily as they continue fighting the monster with everything that they have. The enemy sees this and quickly commands her minion to push the humans inside the giant pit hole, while the people try desperately to fight back, but are eventually overpowered by the massive opponent as they are all thrown inside the gigantic hole. Surprisingly, instead of being destroyed by the tremendous heat, the robots begin fusing together from the power of the Zeo crystal, which causes a massive explosion in the process as they start rising out from the ground like a phoenix. This causes Repulsa to go towards Goldar before being carried onto the entity as she eventually fuses with the massive creature while greatly increasing the monster's power at the same time. The people sees this and begins charging towards their enemy while eventually crashing onto the golden giant, but the rangers manage to regain their balance immediately before throwing a devastating punch directly towards the monster's face. However, Goldar is quickly able to retaliate as well as it punches the humans continuously, but Billy manages to counter the attacks by kicking the enemy flying across the field. This causes the golden humanoid to take out its sword before rushing towards the people furiously, but the rangers manage to dodge the attack just in time as they quickly grab onto the enemy and throwing the creature onto the ground. Jason sees that Goldar is paralyzed and decides to take out the massive swords from the robot's back before stabbing the monster on the chest and forcing Repulsa to escape from the giant creature. However, the woman refuses to give up so easily despite being completely outgunned as she launches furiously towards the Power Rangers but only gets 
slapped by the giant robot which sends her flying towards the atmospheres. Very soon, all the citizens from inside the small town begins to come out from hiding as they're amazed to see the gigantic robot in front of their eyes, while the Power Rangers finally understand their true purpose on this planet as they promise to protect the people from any future invaders. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.